Before you joined Instagram, you were focused on Facebook mobile advertising. So how did your experience there really help you to figure out where to go with Instagram? Yeah, um, for me, that time in mobile was like a, an awesome opportunity to acclimate to what it meant to be a mobile company. It was the same time that Facebook was making the transition from one where most of the traffic was on web to one now where the majority of traffic is on mobile and learning how um, consumers consume information differently on mobile, um, how they interact with each other differently on mobile, how businesses are building for mobile, or actually in some cases how they're behind the, the slope in building for mobile. So for me, it was a really great onboarding to Instagram in some ways, because Instagram of course was mobile first, 99.9% .9 of the traffic is mobile, and it is, in, it is entirely designed for that experience from the very, very core. As you're moving forward and figuring out how to monetize Instagram, how are you hoping to seamlessly integrate ads in a way that doesn't disrupt that very strong voice? So you use the word user, um, and, and we at Instagram actually use the word community. And community is um, one of the most important building blocks um, of Instagram, and it's a really important part of what our future looks like too. And so as we think about Instagram is a maturing business and one that's actually going to have a business model behind it. Um, getting it right for the community is a really important part of that discussion. And it's about working with marketers who are already fantastic on Instagram and uh, making sure that the content that they're showing through our ad uh, platform is fantastic quality content. So another thing that's interesting about your role with Instagram is that it's very similar to Sheryl Sandberg's role with Facebook. When she first began, she really had to help a founder CEO structure a business plan for the company. So talk to me a little bit about perhaps advice she's giving you um, pertaining to some of the challenges that you might face with Instagram and just best practices that she's taught you. Mm -hmm. I think Cheryl cares deeply about relationships. and. Uh, and I, ha I, I seek her out when I need her, <laughs> but I also know she has a really big job. Um, and I would say the advice that she's given me is more around, um, you know, really uh, ha making sure that I'm really in sync with Kevin and figuring out what is that like yin, yin and yang. And when you first began, you kind of had to sit down with Kevin and really figure out what you wanted Instagram's business model to look like. So what were those initial conversations like and were you guys seeing eye to eye? So Kevin's fantastic and um, an unbelievably strong leader who is adept in an incredibly broad range of stuff. He's been a blast to work with and I've learned a ton from him in the last seven months. Um, he has said for a long time that he wanted Instagram to be um, a business that could support itself. And so it, there, I have to say, like, there hasn't been a ton of friction. I think in his mind, he's sort of had a sense of how this thing develops, and it's more of a matter of, all right, like, let's, let's get this on paper, let's build a team out around it, let's make sure it's really well communicated, let's tweak it here and there. But um, in general, he has a, a, a pretty good internal compass, and um, he and I have thought a lot very similarly about some, some of the bigger topics.